Hello, 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 guys. Today we are doing a very special island tour. We are dreaming. Um, and the island that we're going to visit is basically like a dream anyways because it's home of Jazzy Wonton. And um, she's got like a very beautiful, surreal island with lots of different themes and different areas. So let's get the show on the road. Um, I dress like... Uh, like a chic PJ outfit um, so this little uh, dress I thought it has angel wings on the back so I thought it looked like a glorified nighty and the little headscarf um, and no shoes just thought it felt quite appropriate um, so I will cut straight to the arrival because I'm um, Jazzy's keeping her dream address private. Um, you might have heard already that there's a lot of cases of um, islands getting reported, but also I think pe some people are kind of straight up copying island designs. So um, yeah, just to respect her privacy, I'm going to go straight to the dream. Okay, so we are heading to Costa de del Sol. And um, it's named after Jazzy's favorite area in the original fan fa Final Fantasy VII game. So she shared a couple of things. Um, she says, having spent her life in three different continents in equal parts, Asia, America, and Europe, she tries to build similar areas that she's familiar with. The island has a European town, a little Chinatown, tropical beach area, and many more. She's always lived in cities since she was young, hence the longing of aspects of nature both in life and in game. Um, art and music is also a very big part of her life, so try to check out the KK tracks. Um, and oh, don't forget to visit the jazz club. She also says um, humor is a very important part of her life, so she doesn't take things too seriously. Another amazing thing that she's done is she's given me a map. Now this is, um, yeah, like she's annotated the map. Uh, if she if she gives me permission, I'll post it in this video just so you can see the artistry of what she did. And it has a little guide on how to travel. So I'll be following that map. First off, I think what's amazing about this dream is you can um, check out the custom design portal if the creator has any designs that they've created themselves. So this means you can straight on um, download immediately any of their designs and use it in your own. So I wasn't aware that Jazzy uh, makes her designs, so this is really cool. Um, oh, little outfits. Oh, that's cute. Oh yeah, and her in-game is Sharon. I just call her Jazzy from her WhatsApp. Um, from her WhatsApp. Uh, I mean Instagram, sorry, from her Instagram name. Should we, I think we should dress in her outfit, huh? Hmm. And this linen tunic, that looks cute. Um, what do I not wear these days? Don't wear that one. How exciting! You arrive and basically you get an outfit change. Um, so now that I've entered the dream, I can wear her dream items. So that was this hat. That's cute. And... The tunic. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I think for the purposes of the dream, I might put my do rag back on because I feel like that's more of a dream state situation. All right, okay, so let's get the tour on the road. So, number one, she's guided me down here to the entrance and the park. So that's here. Oh, uh, and yeah, let's show the map actually. So you can see there's, um, it's like definitely that European town feeling where, um, where you've got like very, uh, 
yeah, just landscaped and urban landscaped areas, um, but also some beautiful nature around the back and with the water. So that's cool. And she's got Pico, Gladys, Diana, Rolf, Tia, Papi, Julian, Flora, Sky, and Coco. All right, so already I can tell I've gone the wrong way <laughs> because um, I forgot that her resident services might not be in the middle. So that's a bit basic, isn't it? Um, is this right? Nope. <laughs> uh, where are we on the map? Uh, oh, I'm almost there. Haha! Yay! Okay, so it's like we're starting from the beginning. This is the entrance and the park. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful entrance. Like I love the contrast of the wedding items with the tiki torches. Um, and just you're just greeted with a valiant statue. Like that's so stunning. Um, and I love all the different flowers she's got going on, the green mums and these beautiful butterfly stands and the white furniture is just so uh, classy and then number two on the map is our house so let's head on over there meanwhile we'll pass by these beautiful statues over here um, I love the touch of the bicycle so it's like someone's just stopped by to view this gorgeous location um, and and then over here, our house is looking so beautiful, like with all this, um, with all this beautiful white furniture around, and the gnome guarding guarding the the garden, the front garden. I think she uses the green mums really well. And of course, because um, she's just so organized about everything she's also got a guide to the room so this is the studio bedroom that's really cool um i'm just i don't know the order in which to go through the rooms though i think we'll figure it out um so yeah so this is the studio bedroom i'll do a little pan through that's really cool she's got everything you need in an apartment she's got the bunk bed the stereo the tv a little vanity, a pet, bunch of pet turtles. You need, everyone needs a pet turtle. That's so cute. Um, fun fact, I had turtles as a kid growing up. Those were my pets. And this is the white kitchen. Um, yeah, that makes sense. It's really, really beautiful. It looks so realistic. Um, but also really aesthetic, like, not an Ikea catalog, like nicer than an Ikea catalog, you know? Um, insert whatever high-end furniture store you have in your area. Um, but it's just so pretty. Um, and I love all the, like, this table setup. So it's already ready. Um, I know that Charon is, um, she's got her hubby's house also on the island, so maybe this is it. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, maybe this is set for them. I will try to keep my sneezing to a minimum. All right, and then back here. I also like the touch of having these um, doors there. Ooh, this is the golden tea room. That is so cool. Like, Look at how she's used this wallpaper and those um, those different pieces of art. It's like the left and the right. Um, I don't remember the name though. And that kimono works so well here. These little lanterns. The I love the floor. Um, like the f I can't remember the official name, but those like floor seating bits and the golden kettle and this little bed behind this is so beautiful I've not seen a room like this before it's just gleaming you know um, and that and that thing on the wall as well is that something you get from Gulliver it's super cool 
Amazing. So inspiring. Uh, and then over on the left, the limestone bathroom. Oh, I love the cozy vibe in here. It's like she's got the lights out, but all oh, so many different sources of light, so it just gleams. And um, they're just so pretty, like the different the mobile here, the Gemini closet, the um, the different lamps and the candles. Um, and the flooring looks so classy. The shell fountain and the cancer table and the clawfoot tub. Like this has to be the classiest bathroom I've set foot in. Literally barefoot. Um, yeah, that is so beautiful. I'm really in love with this. Amazing. All right, and then heading up. Ooh, this is her little French cafe. So she takes a lot of photos um, in this area. And the thing I love about Sharon is she has such a great sense of humor. She often wears a little mustache and her character and a top hat. Her character looks so funny. And she poses in this little cafe. Um, yeah, definitely getting French cafe vibes. Like you'd want to order up a croissant and a black coffee and um, there'll probably be people smoking uh, smoking not good for you so don't do it kids um, but it would definitely give the vibe of a French I'm glad I didn't take the opportunity to test out my French because it's truly terrible um, all right, okay, this is the spa onsen, and I adore this. Uh, if any of you viewed my island tour, uh, like my old island tour, you know that I love a bit of spa, and um, this cloud flooring is so gorgeous. I like how she's partitioned out the floor. So she's got this wood panel rug here and um, over here so it kind of concentrates the cloud flooring in the middle which is really cool because it makes it definitely feel more realistic um, and all these details here are so cool so here's maybe you get ready like you um, you can get ready after the spa and then over here you can change and drink some tea and then um, here like there's where's that shower coming from I saw a shower. Oh, over there. Shower behind. So you have a little rinse before you get into the into the spa itself. Um, and over here you can relax with a friend, do a bit of reading, have some more tea. These rocks fit in so, so well. And the masks on the wall. This is just incredible. I really, I, I love that. All right, that was only landmark two out of 27, guys. There's so much goodness to see here. So this is the fountain and plant shop. Ooh, <clears throat> this is beautiful. I love the rocking chair there um, and all this like greenery, it's gorgeous. And this plant shop is so sweet. I love it. Uh, very botanical. I'm loving this Cosmo shower, keeping the flowers fresh. That's really cute. And with that, that's this area covered. So let's head back over to Landmark 4, which is Cafe Tia. So that must be Tia, her villager's cafe. Oh yes, that's so cute! Look at this! She's got a little coffee sign. Um, 
and all these like sweet little items all around. I like the mix of the different chairs she's got going on, some benches back here. It's just all this, um, it just looks so realistic and but beautiful, like really, really well planned out. Um, and then with that, I think we... Yeah, so that's Tia. That's her little cafe. That's so cute. And everything matches. Like, she's got that teal house and the teal menu and these, like, teal items over here. So that's really, really thoughtful. She's not labeled the beach areas, so I'll just, like, pop down and have a little look. This is cute. This little play area for kids. Very sweet. Uh, and this pretty little path. Um, what's number five? Oh, no, she has. This is the kids' playground. Oh, that's so cute. And the little puppy. Um, I like how she sculpted out this, um, the sand area on both sides. That's cool. And yeah, kids love playing in a sand pit, so that makes a lot of sense. And then below that, that is the surfing rental. So already I love this flamingo. Um, this, oh, stunning little bed setup. You can lounge in any of these spots. You probably have to pay extra for this one. Uh, the surf shop is open. Uh, very cute. Love that. And then we're heading up to residential area number one. So already this looks so well groomed. I love the use of the different fences she's got going on, like the mix of the hedge and um, I think it's the country fence. Um, really, really cute. And it's all so well like laid out. It's just in a perfect grid. And each villager has their own personality with some so they've got blue flowers and a little bike. Over here there's a rocking chair and lovely white flowers and a pot. It just matches their different aesthetics so well. And then heading up here is number eight, which is the European flea market. That is so cute! Yes, you would definitely want to see all these things in a flea market, like a Sherlock Holmes hat and some little boots. Um, that little poor little teddy bear makes me think of the velveteen rabbit. That is adorable. Yeah, I just love how she's laid that out. And then another sweet little bit of design, just like fencing off different areas. And then over here is what she's called the picnic by the sea. That is so sweet. I love this, um... This teapot with this blanket. I have not seen this teapot before. It's like in this colorway. I haven't read. It's not as nice. Um, and the, um, the like the wind farm just above. This is so pretty. I just love all the whites. Um, it's just, it feels like a dream. It feels very dreamy. How appropriate if I do say so myself um, and then we head over a little bridge Ooh, this is the way to the bridge another really pretty landscaped area um, yeah just love that and <laughs> what a view when you cross over up huh? <laughs> this is so much jazzy it's just hilarious I mean Sharon and then, and then I also know her like real, real name, so I just mix them all up. Um, okay, this is the plein air painting area. So like that, that means open air and you're painting what you see. So here she's got a little painting set up and she's painting Venus. Um, that's cute. And there's a mini little pottery section I see. That's, that's awesome. And then here she's got the... Um, the perfect painting and the fruit behind, so that's, you're painting the realistic bit there. And then here is the glowing painting, this is by Turner, and she's, and that's a painting of the sea. So she's got perfect reference points for each of these, so the birth of Venus, 
I forgot the name of this. I think it's by... Is it by Gogod? I can't remember. Anyways, um, that is super cool. Um, but then she's directed us back over the bridge um, to the area next to it. Uh, which is the museum entrance. Uh, I don't know if this is not labeled, but I love this little music cafe setup. All the white furniture and uh, musical instruments. Beautiful. Maybe it's just part of the entrance. Um, and over here, you can get some snacks for the kids. Uh, okay, she's got an epic uh, fossil. No big deal. Just, um, I think she knows it's a big deal because it's she's got those gold roses there. And a double... Ooh, don't touch the fossil. Uh, she's got a double staircase entrance. Like, how grand is that? Incredible. Really, really amazing. Uh, yeah, wow. Okay. And some more fossils over here. That's really cool setup. Like, she just landscaped it all perfectly. And up here is the observatory terrace. Oh, I love this, like, little area where you can just chill and read uh, and think, like this guy. Um, oh, like space observatory. That is cool. All this, all these like, um, uh, celestial items. Amazing. I love that. And then what's next? Oh, then we have, we're going to come up to a museum cafe. Oh, cute. This little bathtub just casually here. I wish you could get in. I know everyone says that, but I really do. Like, just imagine standing in the middle of this funny little uh, bowl. <laughs> I can see her walking around. See what I mean about that top hat and mustache? It's so cute. Hi. I'm dreaming about you. That sounded a bit creepy, didn't it? Anyways, um, 14 is Rolf's home. Oh, okay, so we are meant to go this way. This is such a sweet little outdoor area um, with the bike and all these flowers. Rolf's got a great setup. He's got his own satellite, his own wind energy, a little farm beehive area. Wow, Rolf is living it, eh? Aside from that termite mound, he could probably do without that. Um, awesome. And then we're going to head to the highland and waterfall. Ooh, this is pretty. All these different flowers and that um, incredible view with that... Um, what's this called? That, that statue. Big head statue? I've definitely just made that up. But that is an incredible view. That is, yeah, so beautiful. And then... Ooh, am I lost? Where am I? Sorry. Oh, I've, I've wandered too far. Let's double back. Here is where I'm meant to be. This is the little writer's area. Oh, yeah, I mean, so sweet. Amazing. And then we're going to head back across this area. Over through to where we were before, I think. So 17 is the library. Oh, it's a very popular area. Uh, and I can see why. It's amazing. Look at all these details, like this antique clock, this uh, museum statue. Uh, I think this is the mystical statue. Um, the globe, this little writing area, piano, 
music, magazines, like it's just uh, looks so realistic. This kind of antique old school library. Amazing. And then, oh sorry Coco. And then over here we've got a mini little theme park. Cute. I mean, I don't know how Sharon does it and makes these items look cool as well. And of course popcorn because you know you can't you gotta have popcorn if you go to a theme park and then over here we've got Abel's so I'm gonna cross this bridge because I love a diagonal bridge um and Abel's is set up for a glam event oh uh, like get your wedding dresses here and a sweet little picnic what a beautiful setup like with that waterfall in the background and the trees and everything really really beautiful Okay, and then I think we head down this way to a little Chinatown. Oh wow, this is amazing. I love that with the imperial fence. It's Pico's house um, with the stone lion and everything. That's so cute. And this little, um, that is so sweet. I would definitely eat here. Um, and a balloon, like I just love this. It's it's not just like a zen area, it's just made it into um, like a really realistic kind of um, dining area. And Oh, and this fence is perfect with this. I mean, this bridge is perfect with it as well. Well, these little pandas about, because, you know, they're like the Chinese, national Chinese animal. So sweet. And all these dim sum and buns. Love it. Tasty. Uh, where do we go after this? I think we'll keep... Oh, there's another bit of this Chinatown. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Okay, and then next is 21. Which, how do we get there? We cross a bridge. We cross this bridge. Ooh, and then this is uh, the Japanese garden. Yeah, yeah, definitely getting that vibe. I love the little bonsai items here and the funny little statue. All this bamboo and the sakura. The, um, the pink hyacinths match the sakura items so well. Uh, just, yeah, it just looks so beautiful, that. What's over here? This must be another area. 21, 26? Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's still part of the Japanese garden. No, it must not be. 31, 32. Anyways. Anyways, it's cute. A little kid's area. Um, I love how bright and um, whimsical those items are. And let's head back over here. Oh, so pretty. Oh, who is this? So we've gone through the Japanese garden. We're now in Flora's home. Everything's so pink and so sweet. I really love that. All those flamingo friends. <laughs> Good to know she's got she's got some friends over and then above that we have um, over here at outdoor onsen yes that's so pretty it like it's obviously linked to the onsen she's got in her house um, a different vibe this one's less like dreamy and just like so realistic um, and then over on this side little pottery studio and kiln uh, I love that. I love a bit of pottery. And this little viewing spot. This is pretty too. Amazing. Alright, and then I think after that we head back down. Yeah, there's nowhere else to see up here. This was the bridge we were along before, isn't it? Yeah, that's beautiful. 
really cool how everything just connects and flows. And then um, this is the Orchard and Mystery Beach. Ooh, yes. Very cool. I love how she's decorated that. And this orchard is so pretty. It's so like well organized, um, but also very aesthetic still. And those sweet little balloons everywhere. That's really cute. I don't understand what this next bit is. Gla Gladys's home and farm. Where's Gladys? Gladys, where are you? Who? I think. I think Gladys is here. Are you Gladys? So this is Gladys's home and farm. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is the farm. I just need to look a bit closer, guys. That is so cute. And these little horses everywhere. Yes. Very sweet. Um, and then next we've got Fisherman's Corner all along this beach. How do we scoot over there? Ah, uh, wow, yeah, brilliant. Such a nice fishing spot. Like, can you imagine just fishing with this view? The time of day is also very appropriate because you tend to go out fishing very, very early on. I don't actually know why. I know like 0.01% of anything there is to know about fishing. So if you know, hit me up in the comments. And then 28 is the beach club. That is cool. Yes, this little diner set up and all these um, all these lounge items. People left their shoes behind because they're off dancing. I love that. That's really cute. And then we'll wind down to... Oh, this isn't labeled, but it's pretty. This blends in so well on the rock. And all this coconut tree. Now this is the pier and viewpoint. I haven't seen anyone use like this amount of codes on the pier like this. Makes it look like a white pier and it's really pretty. You can tell um, Sharon loves like a white aesthetic as well as pops of color. But this is really pretty. And this sweet dining area. I love that. And then, um, oh, and then we got to, are we at, we're at Hubby's house. Uh, but around it, let me describe what's around it. We've got Hubby's deck. Is that above? Yes. How do we get there? Oh, is this Hubby? Hi. <laughs> I didn't even see you. Oh, thank you. How do we get up to Hubby's deck? Ah! Back! Oh, very cool. Hubby's got a cool deck. I love this. Uh, and also a pool, like... Hubby's living larger. And a foosball table. <laughs> So this is funny because um, Sharon and I were chatting about how our partners don't really play the game but like have ideas and I was saying how mine just like his suggestion is mostly to have a foosball table in every room and I have so far refused him. I'm sorry. Uh, <coughs> and this this is residential area number two, this sweet little um, flower garden for them. This is Diana, isn't it? Uh, she loves she loves the pretty stuff. And then this other resident. That is so sweet. Oh, and then there's two ways up. That's very convenient. I don't know if this... I think this area wasn't labeled. Or was it? 32 campsite. I missed the campsite at some point. 
but this is really pretty. Like, look at this canal. Oh no, this is the canal area. That's why. Gorgeous canal. So, so pretty. All this. Look at this view. That is stunning. Yeah, it just feels like such a European city along this canal. But I really have not seen the campsite out. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's really funny that. Oh! <laughs> Duh. Uh, it's really funny that even with a map, I managed to get myself lost. This is so pretty. That's really lovely. And this cute picnic area. Oh, I love that. And this takes us back to that um, greenhouse area. Cool. And what was down here? This was the path on the side to Hubby's death deck. Amazing. So have we seen, I think we've seen everything aside from Hubby's house. So let's head on in there. We're just, we're just going into your house, mate. Don't mind me. And Sharon's got loads of themes in this, um, in this house. So the first one is an art gallery. And right off the bat, I love this in the art gallery like it just it smacks of like modern art where you know you don't even know if like is a light fixture like a light switch art or who knows what is art um that's so funny but then she's got like really beautiful paintings and the statue and um oh here is maybe where you can buy the art sorry that was a really f quick pan i was just so excited and the wall is also perfect, like it's just such um, like an indie art gallery vibe. Okay, and then let's head back here first. Ooh, I've not been in a room like this yet. Underwater dream suite. How amazing is that? So she just, she goes and dreams here. Wow. So these are the mermaid items, I assume, and I'm not actually that big a fan of all the mermaid items, but these are probably my three favorite. Like this wallpaper and flooring is so realistic. It's just gorgeous. What happens? I can't dream within a dream, can I? That'd be, that'd be an inception situation. And over on the left, this is the imperial room. Ooh, yes, it feels very imperial. Like those lanterns are gorgeous. And um, this is this must be a fish, like a goldfish. It matches so perfectly. It looks like a Ming, Ming era um, pot bowl. Um, and the wallpaper and this like little table setup, so perfect. It's like someone's got um, like a private restaurant in their home. Love it. Uh, and then over on the right we have a judo gym <laughs> so this is definitely something that Sharon made for her husband we were chatting and joking about it especially when I was telling her about the foosball table situation she's like yeah hubby just wants a judo a judo gym in his house and um, I think it's actually brilliant like I have this wallpaper and I think I've told myself I would never use it but if I were, it'd be basically just to emulate this room because it's just hilarious. I love all the protein shakes and the gym items and yeah, this is just, just so funny. And she's got like the gold trophy up there. So, you know, maybe someone won a judo trophy. And then upstairs. This is the jazz cafe. So cool. 
Um, wow, I love it. It's just the perfect vibe, like that wallpaper and the lights. Um, and the yeah, just like the low mood lighting. You know, this the seats here would be the prime seats to just go and chill and listen to the jazz. The jazz, that's not how you talk about listen to some jazz. Um, and a little lounge here and a bar where you can order drinks. Like this is so realistic and just amazing. It's like you, you definitely get a feel that it's like somewhere cool like jazz. Um, that is awesome. And then the last room. Sci-fi arcade. How cool is this? I used to be so into arcades as a teenager. Like my friends and I would just go and hang, but I was like super cheap, so when I actually play enemy games, that many games, I would just like watch my friends play. <laughs> so I could we could all come here and I'll just watch you guys on the machines. This is super cool, like the wall and the flooring, just amazing. I don't know why the creepy dolls are there though. Maybe they're prizes. Where they're just watching you. Right? Ooh, hi! Standing guard. <laughs> so that concludes the tour. Um, I mean, honestly, such a dream, right? Like, the whole island feels to be in a dream. And I'm so glad I came here uh, through the dream suite. Um, I just, yep, I'm finding my way. Thank you so much to Sharon for having us and sharing her dream, or I guess it's my dream. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.